so welcome and welcome back to my channel guys for today's video I would like to share how to disassemble the purifier bowl so this is the alpha laval purifier model SA949 so in this video guys I'd like to show you the detailed procedure on how to disassemble the purifier bowl using the all the special tools of this kind of purifier so in this situation guys we have a problem of the oil leak or the leaking bowl alarm so in this case we have to open the purifier bowl so as you can see guys I am now installing the compression tool of the bowl so this is the compression tool already installed so the purpose of this is to compress the disk assembly so that we have to let the lock ring to be free so we can unscrew the or we can detach the lock ring using the screw so this is the compression tool we have to compress using the compression tool at the torque of 33 newton meter so we have to assemble all the tools case so this is the torque range as you can see it's 33 newton meter so this is the limit when tightening of the compression tool guys not to damage the disc assembly so right now I am tightening the compression tool guys so this is to compress the disc assembly to let, if, let the lock ring free so once the lock ring is free then we can push the lock ring with the use of the screw the allen screw so as you can hear that the ticking sound of the torque range then when you hear that sound then you can install the now I am installing the screw so first I have to start with the end-to-end -end part of the lock ring as you can see guys I'm installing the screw allen screw I have started from the end end part the end to end part of the lock ring and all the way uh, around of the purifier so this is it. so when screwing that Alice screw guys we have to alternately tighten the screw until that we can feel that the lock ring is AC going otherwise it will damage the lock ring or if not we have to tight little bit the compression tool so that we can detach the lock ring as you can see guys it is easy going so I have started it from the end part now the end part is coming out as you can see then we have to decompress again the compression the compression tool the you have to be sure that the lock ring has completely came out then you can decompress the compression tool as you can see guys I am removing the tool so that the lock ring can easily come out this is now the lock ring so the lock ring has already detached and at this point we will have to detach the bowl hood so we are jacking up now so this compression tool is used also to jack up the bowl hood so we can draw out the bowl, ho bowl hood from the from the separator bowl so with this tool guys we can jack up the bowl hood as you can see I'm slowly tightening the the bolt so that I can jack out the jack up the 
ball hood so with the use of the chain block right now I am drawing out the ball hood assembly so as you can see guys just like that and then we have to place the ball hood in the even part not to damage the main cell ring on that ball hood guys the main cell ring is located at the bottom part so we have to be careful with the handling of the ball hood not to damage with the cell ring or the main cell ring so this is the inlet and outlet pipe assembly and this is the top disc just slowly remove the top disc guys as you can see there is also an o-ring we have to be careful with that o-rings all the involved o-rings has to be checked carefully and we have to replace all the worn out o-rings and the seal rings now this is the inlet and outlet pipe assembly and uh, with the pairing disc as you can see guys that is the pairing tube that's the pairing tube for the water interface and this is the ball disc assembly together with the distributor so i'm using the with the jack bolt just to draw out the ball disc assembly so when you are using with this jack bolt guys just turn the separator ball so that we can easily lose the ball disc assembly and then place the ball disc assembly in the gas oil to clean or to soak it for few minutes before cleaning so this is the special tool for the lock of the sliding bowl so i'm using with that tool to detach the sliding bowl so in this case i'm using that as you can see guys with that rope or there is an option there is also a special tool for this lock of the separator bar so this tool is to detach the sliding bowl as you can see guys there is uh, the slotted part in which you can insert this special tool on that channel so the important part here is to balance that special tool before tightening the jacking bolt as you can see guys you have to balance it before you can tighten the jack bolt of this special tool otherwise it will be difficult to remove when it is in balance so just use the m13 spanner guys just to tighten this so you can jack up the sliding bowl then you can lift as I, you can see guys this is the sliding bowl you have to be careful of the o-rings so this is the lock nut of the separator bowl the lock nut is always opposite with the rotation of the separator or the purifier bowl so in this case guys the lock nut is left hand so always read the manual guys before dismantling the purifier just to avoid any damages of the purifier parts and this is the special tool to detach the whole purifier bowl from its vertical shaft so when you are installing this jack or the special tool guys you have to turn it until the end part of the jack bolt has to be has to reach on the end part also from the vertical shaft so as you can see guys i am rotating the prepare ball just to reach this end point of the jack bolt to the end of the vertical shaft so they will meet end to end and thus they will, it will lose little bit the ball assembly and I'm using this bar the pipe so that I can slowly detach the purifier ball 
as you can see guys you can just turn a little bit or move a little bit you can feel it that they are already detached now I am removing the whole assembly of the bowl then I have to place it so that I can clean and check all the parts so this is the vertical shop and the water assembly now I have to remove the discharge slide and the operating water ring to remove the discharge slide and the operating water ring we have to turn the bowl upside down so so that we can easily remove all the bolts as you can see guys this is the cover of the discharge slide and we have to use also jack bolt to remove the assembly of that discharge slide and from that discharge slide guys there is the valve plug this is the important part of the discharge slide is the valve plug just use the rubber hammer to remove that discharge slide so when you are overhauling with of the purifier guys it is necessary to replace all the o-rings and also the valve plug of this kind of purifier so when you are overhauling purifier guys you have to read the instruction book manual carefully and check all parts properly so until here guys i hope you learned something about this video guys and if you are interested in this kind of topic please don't forget to hit me the like share and subscribe and this is jb23 vlog thank you for watching stay safe everyone bye bye